In this video I want to show you guys how to diagnose interference that you're likely to pick up when doing installations. So what I have here is I have a two-way radio. You can see this one from Zartec. It's a license-free radio operating on the UHF band. Now what we'd want to do is obviously put our meter into the UHF band so that it can do that measurement. So we need to put it onto TV and then we go straight to spectrum. Let's wait for it to load. Now all I have that's connected up to my meter is a piece of coaxial cable and a small antenna. And you can already see it's picking up large amounts of spikes. This is the signals that are busy coming through and interfering. You can see especially those two there that are two spikes. That's a digital signal, digital carrier. Now uh, my mark frequency is at 738 megahertz, channel 54. So I would want to look at the full spectrum over here. And as you can see, I move my frequency down, it will adjust. So I'm just going to engage this and radio here and then look at the spikes that start picking up. Turn the radio off and you can see they go away. Turn the spikes back on. Now there we go. So look at all these spikes that are pitching up here. The minute I take my hand off of the PTT key, they go away. So we can see that this radio is bleeding a huge amount of RF into the spectrum itself. It's not clean. It's polluting the bandwidth. Now this has all sorts of effects. I'm going to switch it off. This has got all sorts of problems that can interfere with the television picture, the quality of the picture that you're receiving, the analog picture. If you're picking up the digital carriers or you're using the mod HDMI and you have interference, you'll have packet drop. So what that means is your picture will stutter and jitter and break up a little bit and you'll lose signal. If you're using a wideband system, for example, this interference in the UHF band is going to cause havoc because the satellite transponders are shifted all the way down into the UHF band. And you need to bear some other things in mind. The fact that the government wants to give the TV, the old TV spectrum through to the cellular providers, you're going to see huge amounts of interference from 700 megahertz all the way upwards. It's going to cause massive problems when it comes to satellite installations. So I want you guys to be aware of this. I want you to understand what you're looking at. And you need to know that you, you're going to have to get some good tools. Having a meter like this with a wide screen and a big spectrum and a fast display helps to pick up interference issues. You can see there's a massive amount of interference now coming from something. Something is bleeding a huge amount of RF signal. So there must be an alarm transponder or something bleeding. Uh, someone's making a big transmission and it's polluting the entire spectrum there in this lower UHF to VHF band. So if you guys have got LTE problems or interference problems, please get in touch with us. We have a number of solutions that can help you guys. The shielded cable, things like that, the fiber system. So please get in touch with us. We'll do our best to help you. Have a wonderful day.